Hello everyone, my name is Bobloon, aka Pabloon, and today I am back with a new ship coming out. This is the Tech Tree from the Pan European line that is mostly focused on Polish and some other nations in there, our first Norwegian ship. But today we are talking about the Gdansk, and of course, this is a Polish DD. It is based on the Mogador Hull, and this are the, these are the skills you get. Now, Basically, this is a Mogador hull with Bliskavica torps, and then you also get these 139mm. Only one thing, you don't get AP. You only have high explosive with a 535% fire chance. Now that is because I took the advanced HE shell, because since we only have HE, I thought it would make sense to get <laughs> this skill right here. The commander I'm using is Jersey Swirsky because he does have radar and you know he's a good is a good commander for this ship. Definitely is. You get some boosted torps, boosted radar, and this is the setup I went with. Of course, since we have smoke, there's no reason not to take Mistweaver, and we do have a speed booster or also, so engine overload plus is really nice. The build I'm running is reload, propulsion, and concealment, and uh, we're gonna do our f almost first game. This is the first game I had, but I forgot to click record, so um, yeah, you only get a screenshot today, but here it is. We got a Kraken and yeah, a lot of damage, as you can see, but today we're going to try to replicate that, and if we don't, that's fine. I'm going to shoot for some damage at least, and I just want to show you guys what this ship is. I found it really fun the first time, so um, yeah, I'm excited to see what this thing can do maybe on a live session, so let's go for it. All right, so here we are, and uh, we actually get a full player game. Now, this is not really ideal, seeing as there's four DDs. It's not going to be the easiest to deal with, but it is lucky that most of them are Shimakazis. There is the Lucian. Don't want to fight the Lucian, because since we only have HE, we don't really do that much damage, and these guns don't do a lot of damage. But they do feel nice, and the torpedoes are really fun to play with, since they are... I mean, I don't know if they're straight-up Bliskavica torpedoes, but they only do, like, 1,700 damage to a battleship, and... They go extremely fast, so if you're aiming at something like a Vermont or Minnesota, Hello. you can pretty much aim for the, the yellow, sorry, not the yellow line, the white line. And we got Mr. Enchanted Bananas in this game. What up, dude? Nice to see you. This is right after my Tuesday stream because your boy forgot this thing was coming out today, so <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm doing like an emergency uh, recording session here because, well, it's pretty late, and uh, I have to get this stuff out so you guys are in the loop and know what's you know coming out. This is actually something interesting. We've had a lot of uninteresting ships coming out lately, and uh, I really wanted to make sure you guys got to see what this thing is and what's coming to Blitz. So we have three radars, guys. Um, not joking around here. And I'm actually going to smoke up and just harass this Sejong, because... He will be pretty annoying, and we have the Shimmer right there behind us. Now, we didn't actually get any torpedoes on. He was quick to turn around there, but you see how fast they are. They are extremely fast. They have a very wide spread, of course. So they're not the, the easiest to hit, you know, smaller targets with. So this Sejong will probably get away with his life. But we're contesting C here. We're holding it down, making sure they don't get it. Where did this, where did this guy go? I want to use my good fire chance on him. Nope, he definitely just left the cap. And we have the Shimmer over there as well. So he's he's not getting killed, the Shimmer. Let's, uh, ooh, let's help focus him, I guess. Already got a double fire. So we do have the very high fire chance and, uh, you know, fast reloading torps, which, which definitely is nice. And I don't think we're going to be able to hit the Montana here because he... Uh, does not seem to be, you know, being out of cover. So I'm going to go for Izumo here instead. And just try to focus this Shima. Get some permafires. We did get lucky there. That's very nice. Uh, I don't want to leave you, Mr. Enchanted. But uh, at the same time, I have to kind of deal with these guys. That's a triple permafire on my friend there, Mr. Shima. Okay, Isumo, relax. Yeah, I definitely need to worry about this guy now. Maybe we can get one last shot on this Shimmer. Hopefully, we can take him out. I really would like that. Oh, there it is, Shimakaze. See you later. 15 seconds on our torpedoes. That's a double fire. 
So you can see this thing is a fire spreader. That's a triple fire. I mean, it's just it's just going great, right? And we're gonna finish this guy's this guy off with some torps. And a, prob a lot of you probably thinking, why is he swapping to AP? And you're like, where is my AP? I have all the fires I could need. Well, you don't have any, so you're gonna have to, you know, deal with what you get, and that's HE in this case. This is sumo is definitely done. Oh, the oh, Yugumo. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, obviously, the gameplay I had where I got, I think it was a horde, 140,000 damage. Obviously, guys, I would have loved to show you guys that gameplay, but yeah, it's it, it, it. Sometimes it happens where you just don't record, and uh, it happened to be one of those times. Let's see, can we reach this Sejong here? I would love to get him with some. Uh... There he is. There he is. Now, obviously, I'm also streaming tomorrow, so we're going to be playing this thing on stream, guys. Or today. The when the video is coming out, this th that's the day I will stream. It's Wednesday. But obviously, I will also play it there so you guys can see and really get, you know, a hang of or gist of this ship. And I find it super interesting. It's really weird not having AP. But for a guy like me who loves to fire HE all the time, this is, is it's great. It's really great. Let's see here. Where is my boy? Who is the last guy alive? Who are we dealing with here? Is, is, is it a daring? I think it's a daring out there. Let's see. Oh, wow, 46 knots. I mean, it is it is a Mogador hole, right? So. Oh, he's AFK. Mm -hmm. What a sweet little guy. Presenting himself like such a nice little uh, target here. Maybe we can get that Bob guy, the daring Bob guy with the torps, but... I'm guessing this uh, Yugumo or whatever is behind the rock, my teammate, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna kill this guy, maybe. No, they're gonna go right through since, since he actually is AFK. He really wants to shoot me, this Daring. I mean, I'll, I'll let him, sure. Wow, our fire got him. I'm impressed. Okay, we're not gonna get 100k, but hey, it's, it's cool. Oh, you're definitely dead, Daring Mr. Enchanted Bananas, right there. So, I'm sorry, guys, that I forgot to hit record on that crazy gameplay. Um, it wasn't really that crazy. There was a couple bots, as you saw, and if I had more time, I would definitely try to get some crazier gameplay. But I love this ship, so expect more videos on it. I think it's really fun. After these two battles I've tried, I've enjoyed myself thoroughly because you set fires all the time and you do floodings it's really fun you have radar you have smoke and you're fast so that is going to be it for my little uh video here and <laughs> nice first game in gdansk yeah and <laughs> yeah I, I just literally just played it so let's see what's the average damage here in the, in the gdansk it's a uh, it's 114,000. that's after two games guys but Expect more videos on this. I definitely want to make more on this ship. It's fun. It's new. It's tech tree. Something we haven't had in a long time. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this short little video. I, uh, I think I'm going to sign out here. Have a good day, you guys. And I'll see you guys on stream.